presence of a good many veterans of the road and, I hear, of the air. Veterans which, because of the place they hold in people's hearts, continue to be highly valued. I must say that, as a retired person, I find that concept very comforting. Today, I will be interested to understand what exactly makes a classic vehicle a classic. Is it about performance, or aesthetics, or a mixture of the two? Are there any strict rules, or is it a matter of opinion? I look forward to being educated, as I'm sure you all do too. With that in mind, I do not wish to delay you further, although I hope the anticipation has heightened a little. So it just remains for me to welcome you all to this classic vehicle festival and to wish you all a fabulous day. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, three cheers for the mayor. Pip, pip. Hooray. Pip, pip. Hooray. Pip, pip. Hooray. Go forth and enjoy yourself, and God save the Queen! Tewkesbury Classic Vehicle Festival here. We are underway here now. We have an official opening there by the Mayor of Tewkesbury. Motorbikes here, classic old Jag there. That's wonder what, how, how a classic car is defined. Is it speed? Is it performance? Is it design? Well, there we are. Rolls Royce here. Probably a mixture of all of them, I expect. Certainly not always to do with speed, though. Of course, we've got the Rolls Royce here, MGBs, British sports cars, and some imports as well here. Motorbikes in the ground of the school in Dukespray. Didn't the ambulance come and go? I haven't seen it go. I think it came about a quarter of an hour before that. Official opening here in Dukespray, and hopefully the rain will hold off. First classic vehicle show in two years.